Hey, what's up, hello? My name is Card Batong Bakal, and welcome to ABL Recap. Today, joining me is Daniel Conti. Yes, I'm back. Hello. <laughs> and today, we are here to discuss about the games, to also preview the teams for the upcoming season. Yes, it's going to be exciting. Ten teams will be competing for mm-hmm. the ABL Season 10. Yes. And today, we're starting off with the Formosa Dreamers. Mm-hmm. Daniel, you want to talk about them first? Well, with the Formosa Dreamers, I mean, it's a... Well, let's run back a bit. Mm-hmm. The, with their first season, they managed to be dead last with only a win mm. under their belt. And then the other season, they managed to turn it around. Yeah. Being actually, the yeah. best team in the ABL. Actually, it was surprising. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you would have expected them not to achieve that much. But then the key imports, you know, you're looking at Will Artino. You're mm-hmm. also looking at Tevin Glass. Yes. So the three imports from last year, they were the key points of the attack of the Formosa Dreamers. Mm-hmm. So, but now this year you're looking at you're looking at a new set of imports for the Dreamers. So, really how cool. do you think they're gonna play out for this year? Well, I'm really excited most with Marcus Keane. He's mm-hmm. a he's a dynamic scorer. Yeah, that's true. He can score him, like thirty points a game. That's true. And also with Liam McMorrow, he's mm-hmm. a big man. He has brought a lot of basketball experience from all over the world, mm-hmm. from Asia, from yeah. NBA D-League, something like that. Actually, who are you most excited for in the Formosa Dreamers, man? You have to, you have to, you have to mention that. You really, really have yeah. to, man. Man, two Taiwanese stars, mm-hmm. Kenny Chan mm-hmm. and also Jet Chang. Okay, now you now you're mentioned Jet Chang. Mm-hmm. You mentioned Jet Chang. How do you see him playing out this year for the Dreamers? For me, I see Jet Chang as a scorer. Mm-hmm. He can score at any will. Mm-hmm. He, with his previous outings, he scored 12 points a game with, like, from the CBA and mm-hmm. the PBA. And then he last suited up for the Fubon Braves. And he managed to score, like, efficiently at 8 points per game. Mm-hmm. When you're going to put him along with Kenny Chen, it's going to be exciting because you have a versatile scorer and then a great two-way player for the Formosa Dreamers. But now you have to mention that the Dreamers have changed their coach, their head coach. Mm-hmm. They're bringing in Kyle Julius, who brought... Who brought the Saigon Heat last year mm-hmm. to their very first winning season and also their first playoff win. Okay. Now you have to think about it. How would Julius um, take care of this new squad that he's being mentoring? Well, let's see. I mean, it's going to be exciting. He brought the Saigon Heat to its first winning season. And I know you've talked to mm-hmm. Kyle Julius before. Actually, that's true. How very, very true, man. You know, Kyle Julius, for, for a man of his caliber, you would be... He's very chill, actually. He's, mm-hmm. Surprisingly, he's very chill. Mm-hmm. But when you think about it, when he answered some of my questions when we talked, you know, he has, he's full of insight. Mm-hmm. He's, been, he's, been, he's a Canadian, actually. He's been with the Canadian Basketball League for quite some time. Okay. And then when he, came, when he came to the Saigon Heat last year, mm-hmm. for, actually for the past two years, not the last year, you know, yeah. it was actually surprising because you're having success in the CBL and then you choose to move to the ABL. So mm-hmm. what was the reason behind it? And we talked about, we actually discussed about it because it was interesting for me, you know, because Kyle Julius just mentioned that there's a, di- there's a difference between um, coaching in the ABL and also in the CBL. Okay. With the CBL, it's a bit more finesse type of game. It's a bit more um, physical. Mm-hmm. But when you come into the ABL, it's a bit more fresh. It's a really grassroots experience. So you're really starting to build basketball from the bottom up. He sees the ABL as the next, or actually it's the potential farm. For the, next le- for the next players, for the next generation playing mm-hmm. in Asia. Well, it's interesting to know. And we'll see if Kyle Julius and the Formosa Dreamers could still continue its winning ways. So up next, mm-hmm. we'll go with Hong Kong Eastern. Hong now, Kong Eastern. They've lost a key player in Marcus Elliott. That's so true. what do you expect for this season? You know, you know I think they're still going to play well. Mm-hmm. I'll give them that. I will give them that. They're bringing in coach Jordan Brady from the mm-hmm. NBA G League, you know. Mm-hmm. When you've had that, that much experience, you know, in the G League, you would think that he would be able to find ways to integrate these new players in Trey Kell and TJ Price, oh, yeah. who are supporting Michael Holyfield mm-hmm. as the three new imports for Hong Kong Eastern this year. Actually, it's very interesting to see their new world imports. Mm-hmm. Well, very young as well. Mm-hmm. We got TJ Price, who's a dynamic scorer and also a pesky defender. Yeah. Trey Kell, man, he's a great player as well. He, and at 23, you have to mention he is 23. He, he is, is young. He's really young. He is young, he man. He has a lot of upside. Yeah. He's my age. Uh, 23. He's 23. <laughs> okay. And then <laughs> also you have man. Mike Holyfield. Yeah. He's a big man. Dude, yeah. He's a great... Uh, he's a Powerhouse. Power, yeah, towering presence. Towering presence in the middle, man. Mm-hmm. So, you know. given their standing last mm-hmm. season of 13 to 13, where do you see them this year? 
you know, I think they're still gonna play it around that. They're still gonna have that kind of record, you know, for around. Mm-hmm. I'll give them 15, 15, 11. Okay. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. You're bringing in, you're bringing in the youth movement to Hong Kong Eastern. Okay. You've exchanged Marcus Elliott basically for two 20 year olds. Mm-hmm. Trey Kell, 23, and TJ at 26. Yeah. That's young. That. But when you come into the ABL, you're, you're bringing in import experience. Mm-hmm. That's a different level when you're coming into the ABL, man. Plus, they're bringing in like championship experience. Mm. Especially Trey Kell, he's a finals MVP Dude, Definitely, as well. definitely. And they still have a lot of key locals with Chan Su Wing. Mm-hmm. And you know, they all have prior championship experience. So it's going to be like, they're not going to green ground mm-hmm. anymore. So yeah. It's still like they're going to continue their winning ways. And we'll see. I mean, for me, I can see them at the top of the standings. Ooh, this you're giving them the top of the standings, yeah. man. So now in this show, we're also, re- we're also doing the standings apparently now. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> okay, so now let's jump to the Kuala Lumpur Dragons. So mm-hmm. now, the KL Dragons have brought in for- former Formosa Dreamer, mm-hmm. Will Artino. Well, he's the one who turned around the four muscle dreamers. You have to primarily. give it to them. You have to give it to them, man. And then they have Amir Bell and mm-hmm. then Kate Davis. Kate Davis, not only is he a famous Oklahoma Sooner before, mm-hmm. like a teammate of Blake Griffin, but That's true. he's more than a teammate of Blake Griffin. He's mm-hmm. a sharp shooter. Mm-hmm. And I think he can give the scoring firepower for the KL Dragons this season. But you know, with, with mm, man, as much as I want to say that they'll make it into the playoffs, man, mm-hmm. You know, it's it's the the problem with the KL Dragons would be their local depth. Yeah. You know, the the, the experience at the at the grassroots level, mm-hmm. and you know, you're bringing in a very established um, front front man in Will Artino. Now okay. you're bringing on bringing in also Amir Bell and Kate Kate Davis, mm-hmm. but in the ABL you can't just rely on your imports. You yeah. cannot just rely on them and just hope they'll bring it to the playoffs and hopefully to the title. Because, you know, this is still the ASEAN Basketball League. You're relying mm-hmm. on your local talent to support the imports, to bring you to the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Correct? Am I, am I, am I, you can say if I'm wrong. Yeah, you're right. I mean, but you know, for me, I still me. see like, a light at the end of the tunnel. Mm-hmm. Well, they're bringing, bringing in one of their uh, Dragon Stalwarts mm. in Tian Yu and Quick. So I think there's still a chance, you know. He's going to provide a veteran leader, leadership mm-hmm. for the team. And then you also have Lo Shi Fai. He's still playing his 10th season, man. The legend is alive. The yes. legend is alive. ABL, well. OG guys. And the note. ABL. <laughs> man, Lo Shi Fai. But still, I mean, even though I still see them like, there's a, like, a light at the end of mm-hmm. the tunnel. I, yeah. I still see them like, you know, trying to gain ground with their team chemistry and all that. Mm-hmm. It's going to be like a struggling season for them mm-hmm. as well. But, well, let's see. I mean, you have Will Artino who turned around the Dreamers last season. So, I'll give, to it give it to them. That. That's true. That's, man, Will Artino such a... He's a mixed bag. Yeah. He's good on offense. He's also great on defense. I and mean, when yeah. you bring that into a team like the KL Dragons who are in desperate need of leadership mm-hmm. in the paint, you know, you're really going to look for him to be the leader of that team this year. Yeah, speaking of the paint as mm-hmm. well for the Dragons, you yeah. also have a new local mm. in Simeon Lepishev. So mm. what do you expect with this game so far? I mean, mm. I saw him in training camp before. He's, he's, pretty, he's really well. I mean, he can adapt well to Jane, uh, Coach Jamie's system. Mm-hmm. And I guess it will be a very exciting season for the Dragons. Even though, you know, I still see him like, I don't know, maybe there are going to be struggles they, down the road. But I won't be surprised. Okay, well, you have to give that to the Dragons, man. Now we have to jump into... The Macau Black Bears. Now mm-hmm. you're looking at Mick McKinney, mm-hmm. but without Anthony Tucker. That's gonna be difficult. That is gonna be difficult. But you have to remember, you have to remember, Mick McKinney led the league in scoring last year. Yeah, scoring. Do you see him breaking that this year, or of do you course. think, you know? Well, seeing know, him in, not, the, I'm not entirely sure about it. Seeing him in the recent preseason games. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's the one who's really bringing the Macau Black Bears like within the striking distance. Mm-hmm. They also had a come from behind victory against the Singapore Slingers in mm. a preseason game. And it was primarily because of Mick McKinney's scoring. Mm-hmm. And also, don't forget that they have added two imports as yeah. well. They have Kenny Manigold, who's mm-hmm. a great oh, two way player as well. Yeah, I saw him play actually. He was mm-hmm. fast. Yeah, he's fast. He's really, really, really he's quick. athletic. Man. He can chase down the lanes. That's and true. also, they have Brandon oh. Edwards. Mm-hmm. Although the size disadvantage would be the problem for the Macau Black Bears this yeah. season, still. They have a lot of intangibles that they can still showcase to the ABL, especially with Brandon Edwards playing under 6'6". Mm-hmm. Still, he's a great big man. He's really fast. He can still 
position well inside the paint and get those rebounds. You're right? going to really say he's like, you know, one of the players that has a perfect mix of height and speed. Mm -hmm. You can give him that. It's not like watching Draymond Green. I hope so. <laughs> I mean, don't that's get what, me wrong. I like yeah, seeing like yeah. Draymond Green. That's true. That's true. I'll give him that. With a small ball centric yeah. style of play. Like he's going to play the big mm -hmm. and only there's their big man is a 6'8", mm. and then that big man is also like a stretch 5. Mm -hmm. So expect Brandon Edwards to be like the dominant presence inside the paint. So it's going to be a Mick McKinney and Brandon Edwards show for the Macau Black Bears. No, don't forget Kenny Manigold. Kenny also, Manigold as well, that's my bad man. But we do have to jump mm -hmm. into the Mono, Mono Vampire. Oh man. Dude, they've brought in Ryan Watkins. Yeah. And who else have they brought in? There's another two names I'm forgetting right now. This not, Preston not Knowles. Top, Preston Knowles, that's the one. Yeah. So how do you see Mono Vampire performing this season? Great. <laughs> it's just one word, great. Because yeah. they have a lot of great talents in, mm -hmm. in the system. Yeah. They have Michael Singletary. Mm -hmm. They have ABL, like one of the perennial guards mm -hmm. in Tyler Lamb. Yeah. They also have Moses Morgan, mm -hmm. Freddie Lish. Yeah. I mean, those are effective players. And when you bring in two locals and then with the, well, the local, the local core of Mono Vampire is that's terrifying, man. You have Freddie Lish, you have Tirawa Chanachon, mm -hmm. and you have Chichai Anantai. Oh, Ananti, I, sorry, that's my bad. I love Chichai Ananti. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. he's like a, he has a lot of intensity. Mm -hmm. He can play both ends of the court. And Definitely. Also, Naratip Bunserm, he's a great spot up shooter. You know, mm -hmm. I like guys who are spot up shooters. And Naratip Bunserm could deliver <laughs> the threes late game. <laughs> you know what, man? You know, I'm expecting Mono Vamper to rain it from deep, man. Mm -hmm. But you also have to look now at the Saigon Heat. When he, Dude, they have a man, lot. they're bringing in the brother of Sang Din. Tam Din, yeah. Tam Din is coming in. One of the best players in Vietnam. Take note. From the VBA, Tam Din is coming into the ABL and he's joining his brother, Sang Din, for the Saigon Heat this year. Yes, and also, don't forget to mention Chris mm -hmm. Charles. All time great playing for the Saigon Let's Heat. Let's not forget we were mentioning Chris Charles. Chris Charles, we're sorry. There's no disrespect, man. But you are in the team again this year. Mm -hmm. So you have to look at the new coach as well, Kevin Yerkes. Mm -hmm. So I was able to actually talk to him okay. earlier in the early in this preseason, man. Mm -hmm. And you know, he's mentioned that he's coached both in Vietnam and Thailand. Mm -hmm. But, you know, he's still looking for that next big exposure experience, you know, in the ABL. Mm -hmm. So that's why he chose to coach the Saigon Heat, taking over the reins from Kyle Jewis this year. And also... You got to mention, like, they have a lot of local guards. And mm. this is what Kevin Yerkes should be working around. That's true. Tam Din, Sang Din, and then Ko Koa Tran. Mm -hmm. So yeah. those are their guards. Like, they have a lot of in uh, intense guards. Actually, man, I'm looking at Koa Tran to, like, make the next leap this year. Yeah. Yeah. Especially when you're going to pairing up with Tam Din, one of the mm. best players in Vietnam. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be exciting. It's going to yeah, be, like, dude. scoring overload for the Saigon Heat. And speaking of scoring overload... Mm -hmm. Well, San Miguel Alab Pilipinas, yep. even though they don't even though they managed to you know, I mean yeah. with Bachman yeah. leaving. Yeah. Bobby Ray Parks. Yeah, those are well. two big holes that they have to fill. Yeah, that's a But now they're bringing in three imports in the name of Nick King, Adrian mm -hmm. Forbes, and Khalif Wyatt. Mm -hmm. Man, Khalif Wyatt, when I saw the when I saw them at the practice yesterday, man, yeah. they were moving fast on the court, man. They're, it was just he's just a blur. Mm -hmm. And now you're also bringing in Jeremiah Gray and especially yeah. Let's not forget to mention one of the biggest ABL mainstays in Jason Brickman. Yes, Jason Brickman. I mean, I love the guy. He can still yeah. facilitate well. And, you know, he's a great leader mm -hmm. on off the court. You know, he's going to really flourish under Jimmy, Coach Jimmy, Jimmy Alapag's system. And also, yeah, they're going to bring in, like, the scoring overload mm -hmm. with all their prospects that they have. Yeah, dude. With Jordan Heading, Andre Karakot, yeah. JD Tungkab, and also... Oh yeah, Louis Vichel. Oh, yeah, Jordan, Jordan Heading's coming in this year. Yes. Yeah, I almost forgot. Jordan Heading... Uh, he's a Filipino Australian, am I correct? Yeah, yeah he's one of the like high prospects mm -hmm. in Philippine basketball. And also, today. I think one of the biggest name prospects that Alab is bringing in is Jeremiah Gray. Yeah, the beast. You know, a very versatile scoring forward in Jeremiah Gray. Yeah, I mean, he's a beast. That yeah. guy is a beast. I mean, mm -hmm. given his age, mm -hmm. he has a lot of upside in his mm -hmm. game. And also, seeing them right now, like I'm projecting them, like mm -hmm. one of the best teams mm -hmm. still to beat. Ooh. Even though without Bobby Ooh. Ray Parks or Bach. And their two holdovers are just Lawrence Domingo and Brandon Rosser. Yeah, still, you gotta mention that they have a big feat. Ooh. Uh, I mean, for like, uh, during the preseason, they've managed to defeat mm -hmm. the Philippine national team in mm -hmm. tune-up game. Mm -hmm. So that's already like proving themselves that, yeah, you're gonna be a top team to be defeated this season. You know what, man? Who else is a, who else is a top team? Mm -hmm. Singapore Slingers. Man. Marcus no Elliott, Xavier Alexander. That's the deadliest combo in the ABL right now. No question. Two all-time greats, two import yeah. MVPs in yeah, one team. 
Dude, Alexander is currently at the number one spot on the all-time scoring list. Oh, no. And you have Elliot at number three. That's a lot of scoring for just two people. And the Singapore Slingers have been desperate to get the title because they've been in the finals for what? How many times in the past five years? Three times? Three times. Yeah, that's, dude, three times in the past five years. Something has to give for the Slingers. Yeah, and also yeah. they have a lot of local sources going mm. make a resurgence for the team mm. with Leon Quek and also Delvin Go. Oh, dude, I'm excited for Delvin Go. He's yes. going to make that next step. I'm projecting it. I'm calling it Delvin Go local MVP. Bold to say. I'm I am also, calling it. I am also on board with Delvin Go. Okay, now, Daniel, we have to go into the Macau Wolf Warriors, man. Mm -hmm. It's going to be mm -hmm. a different season, I hope so, for mm. the Macau Wolf Warriors. Again, last season, they were the dead last team with mm -hmm. two wins. Yeah. And now they're going to like revamp, mm -hmm. revamp everything mm -hmm. with coach Todd Purves. Mm -hmm into the helm of yeah. the Macau Wolf Warriors. Yeah. And also they're gonna bring, he's gonna bring in one of his reliable talents in Steven Thomas. Uh, dude, one of the ABL top 10, all time 10 honorees. You have to, mm. dude, Steven Thomas, man. He's, uh, he's a monster on the boards. I mean, seeing him outside, he's like a huge guy. Like, yeah, man. <laughs> but then, so. you know, he's been, he's been doing that mean mugging face for the longest time in the league too. And also, not mm. only does he bring that face, but yeah. he's, he's also bringing it up to that game. He has, mm -hmm. a, he's still mean on the court. Yeah. Dude. Even at this age, mm -hmm. age 37, 38 season, I think. Yeah, something yeah. like that. He's uh, kind, of, kind of old, mm. per se, in the basketball yeah. well, world. Technically, Still, he's... Dude, you can see he's jacked, he's man. He's, he has the muscles, man. It makes my muscles look small. And <laughs> that's man, really disappointing. Man. Man, I have to <laughs> that's really disappointing. right now. <laughs> I, just, I just hurt my own feelings, man. But given yeah. all, with all the, like, the talent with, mm. with Stephen Thomas, yeah. they also have Kai Chen. Yeah. One of the best locals in the ABL today. You cannot, you cannot deny Kai Chen. But you cannot. You should never. The challenge for Kai Chen mm. right now to be like one of the best ABL talents mm. is if he could bring mm -hmm. the Wolf Warriors from the depths. Mm. Do you think so? Can he bring like, the Wolf Warriors you from know, the man, depths this season? He's learning from Stephen Thomas. Mm -hmm. He's learning from Stephen Thomas. You know, Kai Chen, I think he still has the next level in him. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, even given his... He's, He's progressing in age. Yeah. You cannot deny that. Father time is undefeated, Daniel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, but Kai Chen, Stephen Thomas, and he's learning from Douglas Herring as well. Yeah. Because you know, he has to be a leader on the court. Mm -hmm. The Wolf Warriors are counting on him to lead them potentially into the playoffs. But I do believe so that mm. they could still turn around. Like you bringing in Coach Todd Purves. Mm -hmm. He's a champion coach mm -hmm. in the ABL. One yeah. of the most respected coaches. Definitely, in the definitely. So I guess they'll figure out a way yeah. this season and let's move on and they think and they can still you know manage like to be in the top postseason for me eight mm -hmm. spot might be like they might sneak in yeah yeah something right. like that so now we have to move into the last and one of the one of the biggest named teams joining the abl this year oh man taipei football taipei football so oh, baby man, i'm really excited oh, to we're moving on with the taipei mm -hmm. football mm -hmm. race man they have a deep roster yeah you got OJ Mayo. Yeah. One of the most high prospects in Dude. the ABA before. No, 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 no. He is the highest prospect NBA player coming into the ABL. Oh, man. Dude, offense for days. You're bringing in... Who else is bringing... Who else is Fubon bringing in? Well, you're going to bring in a lot of Taiwanese stalwarts. Yeah, definitely. Cheng Wenting. And also, Ling Chi Che, the real beast of Taiwan. Lin Chi Che. I mean, he's still seasoned. I mean, yeah. although he's like seasoned with age, mm. still he can play ball. Yeah. I mean, I saw him in their training camp. Mm. He's still fast. He can still yeah. knock down shots from anywhere. And also, they're going to bring in Joseph Lin. Yeah. Man, one of the high prospects as well. Like the brother of Jeremy definitely, Lin. But definitely. he's more than a brother of Jeremy He's more than the brother of Jeremy Lin. Let's just, let's just, keep, let's just throw it out there. Yeah, he's more yeah, than that. Yeah. He's more than that, dude. And also, they have another like perennial uh, big guy mm -hmm. in Charles Garcia, yeah. I mean, he's also established. He also had a lot of experiences from around the world, mm -hmm. NBA D-League, yeah. PBA, so on and so forth. I mean, this guy is really mobile, even though he's 6'10", mm. man, he's really fast. He can knock down shots from anywhere yeah. as well. He has a smooth shooting touch. You think he can, you can think he can, you know, hopefully, mm -hmm. hopefully, bring the football Braves potentially to the top spot, to the top seed in the elimination round. There's no denying that the, two, the Taipei Fubon Braves is the team to beat okay. this season. For me, okay. along with Mono Vampire, okay. San Miguel Pilipinas, uh -huh. and Hong Kong Eastern, those four teams are the teams to beat. And yes, Taipei Fubon Braves, although they may be new, mm -hmm. but they're going to bring in a lot of talent, yeah. who have a lot of experience, mm. and also a lot of accolades. Dude, with them. let's not forget, they're the champions in their domestic league. Man, SBL, yes. Yes. 
they, 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 they took the jump from the SBL to the ABL, man. And I hope they can continue, you know, bring that championship mm-hmm. reign up until here into yeah. the ABL. Yeah, that's what the, what's, that's what that's what all their fans are hoping for. Yes. But we have to end it there for today, man. Oh, man. Man, I missed that. I wanted to discuss it a little bit more, but yeah. you know, well, you can follow the social media over at facebookcom slash ASEAN Basketball League. Also, follow us on Twitter. It's yes, at ASEAN Basketball, and also don't forget to mention us and use the hashtag Rise Ten Greatness. And also follow us on Instagram, Instagram. at ASEAN Basketball League. League for great graphics. Thank you so much, guys, for visiting, you know, our, man, liking our page. So we're, we're so excited for the season. I'm really trying to make it the best for everyone involved. You know, and also before we end the show. Mm-hmm. Again, okay. we're going to mention the, sh- the season opening weekend on Saturday, November 16. Catch the Taipei Fubon Braves defender home court against the visiting Macau Black Bears. And also on November 17, mm-hmm. catch again another back-to-back action from Taipei Fubon Braves against the Kuala Lumpur Dragons. And also watch the Mono Vampire. Sunday doubleheader. Sunday yeah. doubleheader. Yes, Daniel. it's a doubleheader going up against mm-hmm. San Miguel Alab, Philippines. Yes, sir. <laughs> but okay, that's it for us today. Thank you for watching ABL Recap and we'll see you very, very soon. Peace out.